Liverpool lose to Arsenal 3-1. Their top footing is kind of getting a little loose. City are just two points behind with the game in hand. If they win that game, they take first spot in the Premier League. You know, sloppy game by Liverpool. Not Didn't play their best. Credit to Arsenal for making them uncomfortable, for running, for pressuring, for putting you know pressure on the keeper, pressure on the defense the whole game, proposing the game, going forward, sending players forward. All that good stuff. Arsenal, solid, solid game. I don't want to say Arsenal played a great game. It was a very Arsenal win this year. You know, didn't play amazing. Had some key moments in the game that they capitalized on. Recovered, tracked back, a lot of hustle. I, I think Arsenal was playing better last year, but, you know, right now they're pretty close to the top of the table. We'll see if they're able to push Liverpool and City to the end. But, you know, very, very solid win for Arsenal. They got a lot of criticism at the end for celebrating, for taking pictures. Odegaard was taking pictures of the cameraman. I think um, Jorginho was doing some other stuff that got some criticisms from, like, you know, the pundits. I think it's all good and fun. You know, you beat Liverpool 3-1. It's it's good stuff. Like, last few years, uh, Arsenal have been getting points from Liverpool. They've actually been competitive. They've been able to beat them, draw at Anfield, you know, get some points. So they've been doing better against Liverpool. I think it's it's okay to celebrate. It's fine. For Liverpool, a little disappointing. Now you have City in your rear view, rear view mirror looking, catching up to you. Foden scored a hat-trick on Monday. City looks like, you know, they're they're getting ready. They're getting ready to make that push, that mid-season push where, you know, they catch up to the leader and then they push away and then they win another league. It looks like that's what's going to happen again. But overall for Liverpool, sloppy game. Nothing to worry about. Klopp looked very, very calm at the end of the game, the press conference. He didn't look worried. Obviously, when you have two of your best players on the field um, in Van Dijk and Allison making mistakes, you know, it's a it's not a common occurrence. So L- Liverpool could have definitely, you know, played better. They had some chances that they could have put away. It is what it is. Potentially, they could lose that first place to City now if they win out. But overall... January as a whole has to be a success for Liverpool. They didn't have their best players to law for a large period of it because of Avcon. He should be back this next game and potentially they're just going to be one game behind City. I mean, one point behind City. With a lot of games left, a lot of football left, they played solid enough without Salah that if you, if you get Salah back, you would think that they'll be in there to the end. But I have predicted... You know, in December, at the end of November, I was predicting that when De Bruyne gets back, it was it was bad for the league. It was bad for the league. You need to build a cushion. You need to build a stronger cushion for when De Bruyne comes back, because when he comes back, you know, it's 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 scary. He's he's a top player. He's a he's one of the best players in the world. It's not it's not like you're just adding, you know. Jorginho or something. You're adding Kevin De Bruyne to a to a competitive team that's only a few points behind the leader, and the two teams ahead have had their hiccups, Liverpool and Arsenal, and they're you know they're duking it out, they're dropping points to each other. I still believe City's gonna win the league, but like I said, if I'm a Liverpool fan who thinks that this is the year that Liverpool is gonna win the league again, January has to be looked at as a success. From the standpoint that they didn't drop too many points without Salah. But, you know, keep an eye out for City because they're they're right there. Rearview mirror, they're right there. Now let's talk about Klopp. He announced that he's going to leave. It's sad. It's sad for a Premier League fan. It's fan, It's sad for a fan of the sport, fa- fan of footy, fan of football. Obviously, it's super sad for Liverpool fans. I know um, guests of the show, Matt, has, <laughs> has expressed his very, very deep sadness that he feels with Klopp leaving my other homie Rudy he's super sad too other Liverpool fans that I know super down it's a sad moment they're mourning they're mourning that he's leaving but you know it was a good period it's a good time we'll see what Guardiola does if he continues to stay with City if now that he loses his number one rival he wants to go to a different challenge maybe go back to Barca who knows We'll see how he feels, maybe go coach the national team. I feel like, in a sense, 
obviously Liverpool fans and Liverpool is going to feel a little empty, but the Premier League as a whole is going to feel empty too. It's going to feel like maybe it's time to turn the page on the whole Premier League. Maybe Pep starts feeling that way too. Maybe he starts feeling like, okay, I conquered this era. The the team, the coach that challenged me the hardest are now turning the table. Is it time for me to go find a new rival? So it's kind of like Pokemon in the sense that once a region is completed, he always goes to the next region and, you know, tries out a new adventure. He gets a new rival and, you know, does the same thing over and over again and, you know, just basically enjoys a new region. Like Pep, Pep has done it in La Liga. He's done it in the Bundesliga. He's done it in the Premier League. Like, is it time to go to the national team level? Maybe he wants to try himself in Italy, go back to Barcelona, rebuild that project. Who knows? But back to Klopp, you know, he did good in Germany. He won with Dortmund. He won with Liverpool. Where does he want to go next? Like, he said he's not going to coach in the Premier League again. I got a respect for Liverpool. He probably won't go to another German team because he does have respect for Dortmund, too. Is he in line to be the next Barcelona coach? Can he try Italy? I don't know. Maybe the national team as well. I don't know, but I think Klopp deserves that year off. He deserves to, you know, recoup mental health, that work-life balance. Everyone has to find it, even even professionals, even people that we watch on TV, Klopp, everybody. So, you know, happy for him. Um, but looking back at his era in Liverpool, one Premier League, one Champions League, and, you know, numerous FA Cups, how would we grade that? If you look at it from the gutter that Liverpool was before Klopp, then it's amazing. He did an amazing job. He turned that organization around. He brought them back to glory. He brought them back into the Europe greats. You know, Liverpool deserve with their history, with all the championships that they won in European tournaments. They deserve to be among the greats. And he brought Liverpool back there. You know, perennial quarterfinals, semifinals in the... Champions League 1-1 against Tottenham, one of the most boring Champions League final, but, you know, he won one. Uh, he won a Premier League. He broke the club record for most points in a Premier League season. Um, you know, he got second place a couple times. Um, FA Cups, obviously, is prestigious. Big tournament in England. So, overall, if you look at it from where Liverpool was and where he's leaving them, success, amazing time. But if you were to just compare it to the history of Liverpool, their golden era, if you compare it against what it means to be Liverpool, all their European success, biggest team in England, arguably, with Manchester United, then I think it's it's a good job. It's like a B plus. One Premier League, one Champions League, FA Cups. Great, great spell, but... Like, if you're Liverpool, you get graded amongst the European gods, you know? You get graded like, I mean, no one gets graded like Real Madrid, but you get graded like Real Madrid, you know, the San Siro, Milan, all these great teams, Bayern. You get graded amongst those teams and their respective leagues, obviously. So, one Champions League, one league title. You know, doesn't really cut it for a great team to be called the golden generation. If you want to compare it against the 30 years before, obviously super successful. And and don't think, take this as a criticism. This is actually, I want to say it's a compliment to Liverpool. I'm saying that their history is so great that it would be like, it would be a small club mentality of them to think of this as a great, super golden era. Because I mean, Chelsea... Won a Champions League in, what, 2012? And they won some Premier Leagues around that time, too. Multiple Premier Leagues. Um, They won one, what, like three, four years ago during COVID year with Pulisic. And they won, you know, a Premier League around that time, too, I believe. So Premier League teams do this. Obviously, not too many Premier League teams have won Champions League like that in in the last few years. But, you know, it does get done. And... Obviously, Liverpool was more consistent than those Chelsea teams. They only won one league, which is kind of sad, but they were always there. And, like, the level that they brought year in, year out is something to, you know, applaud and commend. But in the end, it was just one Premier League, one Champions League. Champions League, obviously, cachet for, like, almost, like, two leagues. 
but one league only. I do believe that if he wins the Premier League this year, I think it's a great bow tie. It closes out this chapter with a you know smile on the face. Two two Premier Leagues, one Champions League, numerous FA Cups. I think that'll be a great way to end it. You you could actually flirt with the idea of golden era for Liverpool at that time. Yeah, they scored hell, a lot of points. Yeah, they broke the club record for points. Their offense is good. They played good football. But it was just one Premier League. It's a little sad that it was only one. Like I would have liked them to beat Chelsea. I mean, to beat uh, Man City more than more than once, because Man City is like you know the common enemy for everybody. But it is what it is. I want Klopp. I'm gonna say I miss you. I'm gonna miss you, and I wish you you know best of luck everywhere you go, except if you go to Barcelona. But I respect you. I commend you for you know taking care of your mental and like work-life balance and all that stuff anybody can get burnt out even professional managers but overall great job at liverpool